Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Revenue and Financial Services. Will the Minister advise the House how making our childcare system more affordable, flexible and accessible for all of our Australian families, how will that create jobs and relieve the cost of living pressures for them? Is the Minister aware of any problems and alternatives that may occur? The Minister for Revenue and Financial Services. I thank the member for Gilmore for her question and for her powerful advocacy on behalf of her constituents who believe it's so important to have access to affordable childcare. She, like them, knows that access to affordable childcare means that mothers and fathers who want to increase their work hours, who want to spend time studying or training, or want to in fact return to the workforce, are able to do so and that there is no barrier in place. By providing access to affordable childcare, the Turnbull government is giving Australian families real choices about their lives. It is a critically important economic reform. Our fully funded childcare reforms will help around 129,000 families by abolishing the rebate cap for those families that earn less than $185,000. Those who are high-income families earning more than $185,000 will have an increased cap of up to $10,000 each year. Now, this is very important because there has been new data released today that shows that thousands of families have hit the childcare assistance cap in just weeks into the new year, and that means out-of-pocket costs for them. Just two weeks into this new year, more than 3,600 families have hit the $7,500 rebate cap for access to early childhood education and care services. Now, we know that families face this childcare cost cliff, usually in the middle of the year, and it cripples household budgets. It means that one parent usually has to go out and actually earn a living just to pay for childcare costs and will often result in a parent working fewer hours than they otherwise would work or a child being abruptly withdrawn from their childcare or early learning opportunities. But our reform package provides those families with real relief for those out-of-pocket childcare costs. It ends the stress of reaching that childcare cost cliff and it empowers parents to be able to make decisions about their families and their work lives. Now, those opposite are being reckless with Australian families. They have complete disregard for Australian families because they are standing in the way of these critical reforms, reforms that were introduced into this place only last week. They are going to leave families, around 129,000 families, worse off if they continue to block those reforms. Those opposite went to the election promising that they would continue the current system. They then went to the press club and they said that they were going to have a national conversation, but the truth is they've got no plan other than hurting families. Get out of the way of real reform.